All economists understand that people make decisions based on the costs they face and the benefits they expect to receive. In most cases, the key cost of a decision is the price the person faces to purchase a good or service. This idea is complex, so let's simplify it with an example. This is Sarah. Sarah loves coffee and prefers Colombian coffee, which she buys from her local grocery store. The local store usually sells her favorite coffee to her for $10. Sarah doesn't know any of the details or costs of how the coffee beans are grown, the irrigation at the coffee farm, how the beans are roasted, or how the coffee is transported to her store. All she knows is that her favorite Colombian coffee costs $10 and that it's worth it to her given the enjoyment she gets from drinking Colombian coffee. But what happens if bad weather in Colombia severely damages the coffee crop there? Bad weather and crop damage mean fewer coffee beans from Colombia, and that results in the price of Colombian coffee going up. So when Sarah next goes to her local grocery store, she finds that the price of her favorite Colombian coffee is now $20. Sarah doesn't know why the price went up, nor does she need to know why the increased price sends her a signal that prompts her to make an informed decision. She can pay $20 for her favorite Colombian coffee, but the higher price for Colombian coffee means that she'll have to give up more of something else to buy that coffee. In fact, Sarah is likely to voluntarily choose to buy another type of coffee, one perhaps even at a lower price than her normal Colombian coffee, say, Indonesian coffee, which costs $9. So even though Sarah doesn't have any of the information about why the price of Colombian coffee changed, she makes the same decision, based purely on the change in price that she observes in her grocery store, that she would have made had she known that a weather disaster in Colombia destroyed much of that country's coffee crop. What Hayek explained and clarified is that people make decisions as if they have incredible amounts of information about why the price of a good or service is what it is when in fact they have little or no information about why the price is what it is. They simply know what the price is, and that is sufficient to prompt each of us to act as if we know vast quantities of facts about economic reality that we can't.